I was to meet Claire at one o'clock. No one was to know of our encounters. It was her wish. But when I arrived in Madame's bedroom, she was not there. What did you see in the bedroom? Nothing unusual. Her bed was turned down, as always. Her powder blue negligee was carefully laid at the bottom of the bed, but there was no sign of Madame. I left by the front door, and immediately I heard someone coming up the drive. It was this couple returning Napoleon. I quickly took it into the bushes to honor Madame's vow of secrecy. When they left, I left, and I have nothing left to say. I saw nothing more. I can't believe after an hour and a half with this guy's wife, you and the old woman were... It's what I do. Very interesting. Don't you agree, Madame Dimple? Didn't you tell me that the only chore you did the night of the crime was to prepare Madame Van Dugan's evening meal? Yes, that's correct. Did you not also tell me you took the 750 train to St. Louis sur Mer? Yes, that's also correct. Then you are not in the house to turn down Madame's bed, as always, and lay out her powder blue negligee, as Signor de la Peña described the one who was in the room at approximately 1.15? No, we... Then tell me, if you would, how the bed became remade when this photograph was taken about 45 minutes after Alfonso de la Peña left the bedroom. I propose... You never left on the 750 train. As a matter of fact, you never left the villa at all. I propose you were in the garage disposing of the body when Signor de la Peña showed up. He saw the unmade bed and slipped away. You returned and remade the bed in a desperate attempt to cover your tracks. It wasn't my idea. Shut up, you fool! 